The Monerotopia Price Report segment is sponsored by Local Monero. Avoid using KYC exchanges. Buy and sell Monero directly for fiat, peer to peer. I hear a fan. Is it hot where you are? He's in a plane right now. <laughs> He's hunting down the UFOs as we speak. <laughs> Body does not apply. Hey, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Body? Oh, it's, it's good. Week. Before you jump in, how was it, Narco? Okay. Oh, it was awesome. A bunch time. of good people there, um, handed out a bunch of cards. Pretty much all the OGs that were there were like really stoked to go to the Narotopia. Nice. Uh, hopefully awesome. they bought their tickets already, but you know, everyone's had, been having a good time, so it might take another few days for them to yeah, get around. Yeah, yeah. Was it, was it, was it kind of like, it was nonstop, right? Like kind of 24 seven things going on? Oh yeah. Where, uh, how about the after parties? Really good. <laughs> I can hear it in your voice. It sounds you sound, you sound like that's a good yeah. sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, I, I kind of lost my voice towards the end of uh, the week there. Awesome, man. All right. So did you did you present too? Yeah, on Wednesday morning, I was on Danny Sesum's The Crypto Show. Oh, awesome. Yeah, with How was um, that? with Neil. Awesome. That was good. You guys talked. Uh, obviously, you talked about Monero and things. I imagine on there. Yeah, uh, Neil told everyone about Monerotopia, and then I talked a little bit about Monero, uh, you know, the importance of privacy, and then I kind of talked about just generally what to expect going forward in the next bull market, which could still take another year or so to, to really get here, but um, yeah, just um, general ideas, general advice. A lot of people at the conference, you know, they're, it's their first conference, or they're kind of green to cryptocurrency, so uh, kind of just try to keep it simple. It's, Got it, got it, got it. All right. All right, man. Take it away. Cool. So um, we definitely had a big drop since the last time we chatted. Um, so we've got the dollar index here. And if you remember, we talked about this channel here. And we were kind of like halfway up that channel. And then we sort of touching the top right here. This would be a good place for resistance to be found. And hypothetically, that would hopefully correlate with a bounce in the crypto markets and the stock market. Um, the chart doesn't look nearly as good as it did the last time we talked, uh, about eight days ago. So, um, it, it kind of shows you how a chart can break down quickly and it's important to be on price in real time if you want to be a short-term trader. Um, so I really haven't looked at price too much since I left. Um, so I kind of got my bearings again today and it does look like there could be some problems. I still think overall it should be we should be going into a continued uptrend, um, but it might take some time to chop sideways to pull back a little bit further. Um, hopefully, we can hold some key support areas in general, and then we can hopefully see price move up some more. Uh, so, kind of starting with the macro, we've got the Dixie here. Uh, trading just opened, like I think about an hour ago. So right now, this looks kind of like it wants to break, but um, we would need to see it confirm come up and. If it does that, that could kind of signal uh, that we might be coming closer to the top of the range, which would uh, probably correlate with uh, a drop in crypto in, in the stock market. Uh, we've got our reverse repos, and this chart is very clearly trending at this point. So you have the volatility of the standard deviations uh, keeps expanding. We're basically trending down on the lower standard deviation and this should most likely continue trending down. Now, there was there were some important things that happened with the Fed. Uh, not so much the Fed, it's, it's really the people who put bets on what they think the ultimate terminal Federal Reserve rate will be for the Fed funds rate. Um, it, people were kind of betting somewhere between 4.75 and 5, and now they're um, they're thinking, or people are betting between oh, five and five and a quarter. Yeah. So what that really means is that oh, no, the market lagging. seems to be expecting uh, further continuation, um, that the Federal Reserve is gonna raise a little bit higher than they originally said. So that's kind of weighing on the markets. Um, we also have the SEC move against Kraken was a significant factor, I think, in, in putting some fear into the markets. Um, I don't necessarily think it's a terrible thing. The thing is, I don't um, know the size. I mean, 
obviously it's bad uh, because regulations and these guys will you're gonna hear you know, all seem to be acting um, in a way. No, you should be able to just... Uh, in a way that's yeah. good. No, so, uh, I guess it's a sound really, thing. I just don't want to fuck this up, though. So we're going to have the inflation numbers next week. And the forecast is for them to drop a little bit moderately. Not quite as steep as they have been dropping. So the CGI is in white. If you open up the sound mixer, is that it? What's that? I can't really hear you do it. I actually thought that these were going to be on uh, this past week. So I just had the calendar wrong on that. I double-checked it. And uh, so we should get the CPI on Tuesday. And then we'll get producer price index on Wednesday. Um, let's go ahead and go to stocks. Take a quick look at this. Uh, that would be the S&P. And so we, we're still above the trend line, the overall bear market trend line that got broken. Um, you can see that this has kind of been a significant place. From the very top, this was basically the first place that got broke down to. So that's where price smashed down to. Um, it could take some time to try and get above this. We might need to chop sideways, especially with the market kind of repricing in the um, the expectation of the Fed raising a little bit higher uh, than they at first were anticipating. Uh, the Fed didn't say that. So what was kind of funny is the Fed didn't say that they were going to increase their target rate or their terminal target rate, but um, the market is now betting on that. So. Um, yeah, that could definitely mean that we have a little bit more sideways chop here, some consolidation before continuing up. And it's really not a problem. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, well, last week I was saying that it's a good time to be getting into different positions. And with this pullback, this is probably a good opportunity to be buying up coins um, if you didn't buy earlier in January or late December. So I think the markets are going to look at these inflation numbers. And as long as we're at target, um, or below, I think the markets will like it, and there's a good chance that we could go up. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see because the actual charts, especially for crypto, aren't so great. Um, so here's uh, that's Bitcoin. Let's go total. Okay, so overall total chart, we're still kind of looking at that final boss trend line, uh, and we haven't quite broken out here. So that's not too unsurprising. Uh, you might remember I said that if we touch this line here. Uh, it could be that that could pose resistance. Seems like it might be. Um, we could also draw this line just slightly different. Like for example, drawing it here would be entirely valid. Um, we have to cut through some of those wicks, but it's not really a big deal. Which again is why you have to realize that these lines are kind of zones of resistance or support, and you have to treat them as such and not not look at them as like hard, uh, completely immutable. Um, technical trading uh, signs. So that's the daily chart. Let's go down to the hourly and we can see where some breakdown happened. And you can see why if you're going to trade on a short time frame, uh, you really have to be paying a lot of attention. So we were in this channel and once we came back down this third time, you kind of broke that down. That's when you start getting really nervous and you might take some more profit um, if you're a short term trader. So now we've kind of broke down here and I haven't really decided, made up my mind where exactly it's going next. Um, maybe it hasn't made up its mind either. Uh, so that's total. Let's go ahead and look at Bitcoin. It's a similar story, very same story. Um, but overall, we're still hanging out at the important place that needs to be um, that needs to be supported, right? Ideally, we want to hang out at the top of this area here and then make our way up uh, towards the larger channel or the larger uh, down sloping resistance. So finally, we'll take a look at Monero. And we still have yet to break our overall bear market resistance, which is uh, looks pretty much like um, Bitcoin in total. But everything still looks pretty good. Uh, we kind of lost this smaller trend line, right? This, uh, this more narrow one here. Uh, so we dipped down below that and we're essentially now we're going to have to hope hope to be supported on the larger time frame trend line, basically since the middle of 2016. So I still uh, I'm not worried at all. I'm I'm still a hodler here. Uh, I think the chances are very good that over the next few months we continue to have gains. Um, if you took some profits uh, last week, that would have been a good thing. Uh, we've got the uh, the ratio Bitcoin versus Monero. 
We've broken down a little bit, but remember we said it's possible that we might have to come flirt with this 006 line. Um, hopefully not. The divergences would suggest that maybe we don't need to go down any farther. So if you remember last time, uh, we were on the larger time frame. So 2885 minute increments is a 10 day rolling average of all the different um, divergences to Kraken. And again, this is volume weighted. So we multiply by volumes to understand how much uh, movement and volume was actually done at some price divergence. So last week we were, we were right here and I was saying that on the long time frame, it did look like they were pretty much running out of, um, of any excess Monero that they might have accumulated for the past couple months. Uh, so right now we're, we're kind of being in positive divergence again, which is really nice. Um, I, would, I would rather it just be flat, right? That would, uh, that would be easier to trade. That would kind of just be less fuckery, if you will. Um, so here's the shorter time frames. This is rolling four hour. And overall, you can see for the past few days, finance has been positive. Right, so we're up here. Uh, so that's nice. Hopefully, I mean, really, I don't want them to accumulate because it just means that later they'll kind of screw with the price and do volatility and whatnot. Uh, we've also got the longs and shorts have basically come down to zero. Uh, they've, they've closed. So we had some more longs than shorts previously, and those are just flat now. Uh, we've got the dominance for Monero, and not much to see here. Kind of broke through that line. We're kind of down below it. Maybe we'll kind of continue trending down that line for a little bit. Um, or if perhaps this is a bigger pullback, then there's a chance that Monero relatively could shine compared to the crypto markets. And I think that's about it. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more to say about price, but um, I want to hear about the alien invasion. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up and, and let uh, DJ Martian have the floor. Or not. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll find something else to uh, present. Let me check the YouTube. Hey, buddy, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I, can I was hear just saying. Oh, okay, I think there's a delay. What, what's your What's your take on what we're seeing with the uh, the balloons slash UFOs? <laughs> it seems like a distraction. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely one of the theories going on out there. I mean, there uh, probably are aliens or something, or maybe there's like really advanced government aircraft. I, I honestly, I don't have any great opinions on, on any of that. I don't, yeah. I don't study it too much. Yeah. Nobody knows. I don't study much either. Um, all right, man. Thank you for doing this and uh, we'll get the Martian up. Cool. Thanks guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Right. Okay. All right.